for some people they take retirement so happily and so easily what is there retirement is just saying bye to tension and saying hello to pension that's all for me retirement is nothing more than that some people take it so easily but for some people it is not that transition between this oncoming burden and distant paradise how good are you in striking a balance between these two makes your retirement phase of life fruitful or dreadful so it is up to us or it is up to you who is looking forward for retirement men folks will not find it that easy they become claustrophobic you know men become claustrophobic whole day inside the house with the spouse next to him that is so bewildering anything that you visit for a few hours would be enticing in life even the wife going to the office coming back in the evening oh what's for today's dinner she will pretty well sound like your girlfriend nice eat the dinner go to bed the routine starts but 24/7 like news channel she'll be sitting next to you what are you doing do that don't do this don't do that ah instruction manual <laughs> that's all there starts a different music and you have to dance to a different rhythm and for which men do not prepare themselves that easily and that is why retirement is also synonymous to marriages i said like how we plan for a marriage we need to plan for retirement also men at least after retirement should learn the art of expression to their women anything and the first thing that starts post retirement is start saying i love you to your wives you have ample of time to say that now you know she is lovable all these years and also she equally knows you are lovable all these years but verbally express it and poor men cannot delink themselves from the position that they held in the office when i was a general manager people listen to me whatever order i pass on they listen to me they carry out so well and now these small tasks you are finding fault with me you do not know what is my value husband will start shouting at the top of his lungs all the drama is over now retired you have come back home now listen to what i am saying now she will shout at the top of her lungs this is what will happen so take off your label either you are a gm or you are a head of a branch or this that territory manager or a team leader whatever as i told you a normal human being at home we are deprived of touch at times understand it in the right sense don't worry i'm there things will be all right a pat at the back a touch a lovable touch so we are touch deprived many times reinvest this is not out of lust out of care out of affection out of all the sacrifices that she has done for you throughout the years so you need to reinvest and reinvent the technique of good touch lovable touch you have a lot of time for that to do please continue to do that and time management skill see if you are busy with some other work and if you are not able to make coffee for her in the morning manage your time and make it for her in the evening that is how you have to manage your time management skill never ever always have a plate on your shoulder that i am a male no there is no gender bias in the kitchen please take it in the right sense there is no gender bias in the kitchen hunger has no gender bias so is the kitchen get into the kitchen make some coffee try some new dish it is always it, women always need not be the one to try out new dishes from the youtube you can also start doing that now cook for her bina namak ya bina shakkar whatever it is the very feeling that you are cooking for us you know would make the dish so palatable try new dishes for her so these are the simple tricks and some people may say they are yaar you become hen pecker what after retirement who is he to comment on us it is between you and your wife no ego shed all your egos post retirement because as i told you in the beginning men cannot express properly they can express only one thing properly on earth ego at times the ego is also hidden 
It doesn't mean that women are not egoistic. Women are equally egoistic. At the same time, we poor women, we express it, blah, 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 blah. Men never express it. We, we will not be able to find out. So, time management is one such skill. And uh, if, you, if you are very good at time management, you know, one day prior to her, surprise her by giving a gift for her on, for her birthday. Remember all her uh, achievements. Remember her birthday. Remember your wedding day. All these come under time management skill now. Whatever you have been practicing in your organization is entirely different here. You know why? Your boss is entirely different now. 30 years you, you were working for different bosses and for the rest of the life you have only one boss at home. And the most important skill that you have to develop after retirement is active listening. Please understand. Because men, when they are busy with their newspaper in hand, they become deaf. There is some sort of a connection between eye and the ear. When they look into the paper, when they look into the headlines and whatever you say, will never reach there. The moment they fold the paper, they would ask, you were saying something, what is it? They would ask you. But women are not like that. They would be making something in the kitchen with their hand. Psychomotor activity will be going on in the kitchen. With one ear in the roaming mode. What papa is talking to, whom he is talking over phone. Now that he is retired, but he is always with the phone. Who is that? So one ear will be in the roaming mode. And one eye will also be in the roaming. What is he doing? From where is he calling? Is he calling from the hall or is he going out every time a call comes? So she'll be with the ear in the roaming mode, with one eye in the roaming mode, with the hand in the sack and mouth continuously saying something, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how am I going to spend the rest of my life with this man. He's so senseless, this, that, etc. See how multitasking we are? But men are not like that. But poor women, you have to put up with these men. These are grown-ups. It is very hard to bend them. So it is up to both of you. So sit and talk. And all those shortcomings which you didn't know so far will come to the surface. Both in case of women as well as in case of men. And health. Both of you must invest time in your health. Because while working, you would have saved some amount of money. But if you have to spend it during your retirement, you need to be healthy. And let your spending be not to the hospitals. So stay fit. Men, they have to learn the art of emotional intelligence after retirement. It doesn't mean that you have to hide all your emotions. No. You have to express all good emotions about your wife then and there. No carry forward. No pending. Immediately. Today's task is to be done today. That is how it is expected from... Because wife too has a lot of expectations. All these days work was your excuse. Because men take work, their career as their identity. And once they retire, they feel they lose their identity. And it would take long time for them to accustom with that. And it is during that time, women would also expect men to focus much of their attention on them. So she is with a different set of expectations and man is with a different set of expectations and unfortunately under one roof. So lot many things have to work together. You have to work together. Talk a lot. Only to your wives I am talking. So talk a lot. And remember, even at home also, boss is always right. Adjust with her. After all, she's for you. And after all, you're for her. And you need not feel low listening to your wife. You need not feel low cooking for your wife. You need not feel low organizing your house or washing clothes or jadu uh, pocha. You can do anything post retirement. Don't say I'm helping her in the kitchen. Please change the vocabulary. Because friends used to share over phone. Hey, yes, 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 after retirement I'm helping her in all the kitchen course. It is not helping. You know what exactly is helping? Helping is stepping into your neighbor's house and washing clothes for them. Cleaning vessels for them. That is helping. You are sharing the burden, that's all. It is not helping. Helping has an entirely different meaning when compared to sharing. So you are sharing the burden of your wife. Try to share the burden. So again, remember, there is no gender bias. So putting in a nutshell, retirement is all about... 
And how many of you go, went through the paper yesterday? Ash Barty's retirement at the age of 25. How many of you went through? Yes. The entire tennis world is shocked. Because she is retired. She has announced her retirement at the age of 25. A tennis star. World cannot take this. And she says, the best in me is over and I have nothing left to give to the world. I'm into depression and I'm not able to focus much on the results and winning. So I'm retiring, I'm quitting. She said that at the age of 25. So please remember one, one truth from here. A retirement has got nothing to do with age. When you feel demotivated, the very moment you are retired. But when you remain motivated, even after retirement, you are not retired. All that counts is, never get tired. You may become retired, but never get tired. So the, your, your love to live, your passion to travel, your, your passion to uh, involve in new hobbies, or discover something new, or invent something new, or reinvest in some other things, you know, that shouldn't die, that shouldn't get tired. Reinvent yourself. Rediscover the passion that you, you have been longing so far. So when you have to bring out your passion, age is not the limit. Yeah, who knows, there may be a singer in you. There may be a, a tennis player in you. Or there may be a golf player in you. There may be a wonderful cook in you. Who knows it? We do not. There may be a good painter in you, an artist in you. Some other skill. There may be a good tutor in you that you may teach some of your skills. There may be a good consultant hiding in you. Bring them out. Unleash your potential. Age is not the criteria. For retirement also there is no age. But once you feel demotivated, that very moment you retire. So retirement is all about investment of love. Acknowledgement of your spouse's you know, plus and minuses. And ac accepting as it is. And moreover, avoiding argument is the topmost thing what is expected during retirement. Post retirement at home with your wife, you have to sign a memorandum, emotional memorandum of understanding. Never take anecdotes from the past. That is worse than a missile attack. Let sleeping dogs lie. Let that be your policy. Because post-retirement, you should also be happy and the husband should, the retiree should also be happy. Be that be a wife or a husband. And changed behavior is what is expected from every retired person at home. And that is why in Japan, there is no such word that corresponds to retirement. They call it as ikigai. Most of you would have heard in all your training programs. What motivates you to get out of your bed, to jump out of your bed and to carry on your everyday routine is your ikigai. And understand that changes over time. When you were a small kid, your ikigai would have been going out to, uh, and playing with your friends. At the age of 20, 25, your ikigai would be a good job. So that makes you get up every day motivated and stay tuned. Post-retirement, you have to find out what is your ikigai. That is not that easy. Even maintaining a small kitchen garden would be your ikigai. Every day going there, watering and taking off the leaves and manuring them. That may be your ikigai. Or helping your wife may be your ikigai. Taking care of your health may be your ikigai. And some people, you know, will say keeping quiet. That, that would also be your ikigai. Anything. But it changes over time. So, if you want your retirement life to be happy, both for the retiree as well as for the spouse, a lot many adjustments are there. What you have adjusted so far is just the introductory chapters and what you are going to do for the rest of your life is a core. But this magic failed to happen in houses and that is the reason behind every retired man is a wife wishing him to go back to work. Please remember. So let your wife be not that wife who wish you to go back to work again. So let her allowed to have you at home for more hours, more time and every minute that you spend with your wife is a quality time. It's a very, uh, what to say, that, that is a million dollar investment that you do because go ask those who do not have a company, they'll tell you because adjustment is the only password. So what is the secret code? 
for a happy retired life so so what is the secret code this applies both to uh, women as well as to men